Aquarius. What's up? It's your girl, Life of Pinky. I'm back. Period. What's up, Aquas? What it do? Y'all already know what time it is. It's your girl, Life of Pinky, and I'm back again with another reading for my Aquas. I told y'all we was going to do some love readings. Well, a love reading, and I was going to do it for the collective, but then I was like, you know what? Let's split it up. Let's do it for the signs, okay? So this is Aquarius dealing with any earth sign, honey. Where they hiding? Where they feeling? What's going on? What's coming towards you in love? We're going to get into it. We're going to get into it. Let me, let me hold up. Okay. So right now, Treat Her Like a Lady is playing by Joe. When was the last time? When was the last time? How long will it be before you treat her like your queen? And how long will it take before she starts coming home too late? Okay, period. Let's get on into it. So, Spirit, what messages do we have for the Aquas? Dealing with an earth sign. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. What messages do we have? Okay, they're saying start with the messages of love. So let's get into it. Spirit, what messages do we have for the Aquarius? Dealing with an earth sign. Draco Taurus Capricorn. What messages do we have for love? Messages of love. Oh my God. Messages of love. I feel like they're saying stuff or they're 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 wanting to say something, but they're holding back. Spirit, what messages do we have for the Aquarius? Dealing with the earth sign. Draco Taurus Capricorn. What messages do we have? Messages of love. Messages of love for the Aquarius. Something with an earth sign. So it says true love. This love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. So hold on, y'all. Let me change my battery. Okay, y'all. So this could be a true love. He said, now say what's old to you is just like new to the next man. What you don't do for her. She'll find somebody else who can, okay? But this could be true love. This could be, you know, true love. This is a physical love, an emotional love, an unconditional love. It's like you're enamored by this person or this person is enamored by you, baby. They're, they feel like you're their true love or this is how you feel. Maybe this is how you felt. I don't know. We have awakening. Someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation. So maybe this connection sits you on some type of awakening or spiritual transformation um, or this person is going through a spiritual awakening right now, honey. They going to fuck through it. I feel like maybe they're awakening to the thoughts of you being their true love. Maybe they're understanding that this love, you know, it's emotional. It's physical. It's unconditional. Spirit, what the messages do we have for the Aquarius dealing with an earth sign? What the messages do we have for the Aquarius dealing with an earth sign? Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Yep, somebody's going through a spiritual awakening. I feel like somebody that's not accepting it because it showed up at the bottom of the deck and then it still went on and came on out. So I feel like they're going to have to accept it or this is you. And we got wait. The timing is not quite right. So maybe the timing isn't right for this connection. Maybe you two still have to heal. There's a spiritual transformation that you two still have to undergo. Or maybe this person still has to undergo some type of spiritual transformation in order to realize what's going on here. So that's why they're saying wait. Or maybe this person is telling you wait. Wait for them. Yeah, this is a past life love. So you knew this person before. Your soul remembers this intense connection. I don't know. Maybe y'all were husband and wife or wife and husband back in the day. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Your soul remembers this, remembers this connection and regret at the bottom of the deck. So someone feels remorse for the way they treated you. I feel like, like I said, this, I feel like you two met each other again and you were so engulfed by each other's presence because you knew it was like you knew this person. Like you, you knew them before. It's like it, it felt familiar to you because you've came across this love before. This is your true love. This could be your soulmate. Let's get some messages from the hidden truth. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I couldn't let you get close to me. So I feel like, yeah, this person was scared. What song is this now? Stay by Destiny's Child. So yeah, I feel like this person wants you to stay, wait, but they can't let you get close to them. And it's weird. 
it's like it's giving weird energy yeah i know i messed everything up or i messed up everything i feel like this person knows they pushed you away even though they wanted you to stay that okay i got you i got you if i loved you a little bit longer if my love was a little bit stronger would you stay would you stay Okay, I know I messed everything up, but baby, please stay. Yeah, you don't know how hard it was to let you go. Yeah, so this person knew. They had to let you go. They had to let it go in order to... Y'all ever seen that, um... I think it was Dragon Ball Z. I cannot remember his name. I can't remember if it was Goku or Johan or whoever. I can't, Baby, I can't remember. But it was about him opening his chakras. And he had to let go of his girlfriend. He had to let go of the fears of her being hurt. Or he had to let go all of that. He had to push through, you know, to be awakened to unlock all of his chakras he had to push through he had to go through an awakening so it was very hard for this person to let you go it was very hard for them to let go of losing you to let go of the fears of losing you yeah i love you unconditionally at the bottom of the deck so it's very i'm getting emotional y'all like my my body just filled with like heat for some reason so this can make you very emotional there's an emotional love here this tr this is true love and this person was you know going through it because this is the only level that they couldn't get past you gotta go watch that video that Dragon Ball Z video okay in order to understand what I'm talking about if you know you know if you don't go look it up but either way it was very hard for this person to push through that in order to go through this spiritual transformation they're still going through this I love you unconditionally. I can't let you go. I can't. I can't. Because then what? What if you don't come back? Oh, earth sign. Spirit, what other messages do we have for the Aquarius? And their earth sign. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. What other messages do we have for the Aquarius? Oh. Okay. They said take these. You came closer than anyone. Hmm. We're going to read them and then we're going to get into the energy. I want to tell you how I feel. I know I was a distraction from your pain. I am not available. You and I were too young. So let's get into it. So I feel like for one, you came closer than anyone to cracking their shell. I feel like they were so dead set on, yeah, we going to, you know, I'm a player, I'm a boss, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And you came closer than anyone to changing their mind. They were so in love with you that it didn't matter to them. It didn't dawn on them that they were playing games because this is how they truly felt. But then they pull away. I'm not available. Then they pull away. It's like, yeah, okay, I'm going to give you a little bit and then I'm going to fall back. I'm going to give you a little bit more and then I'm going to fall back. And then I'm going to give you a little bit more and then I'm going to fall back. Maybe you'll, maybe you'll take the hint that I am not available. Maybe this person is with someone right now. Or you are, I don't know. Either way, it says you don't know how hard it was to let you go. I know I was a distraction from your pain. So I feel like this person feels like, you know, you, you didn't really feel how you felt. You know what I mean? You was just... You know, doing something just to be doing something. It was a distraction. Can you be my distraction? Okay, so that's, yeah. That's what's going on there. They felt like they were just a distraction. They were just some time to kill. Or maybe this is you telling them this. I don't know. But they want to tell you how they feel. I want to tell you how I feel. They want to tell you why they pushed you away. Why they couldn't. They felt like you and them were too young. Like, we are too young right now. We still got, you know, a lot of time. You trying to do this now. I'm not. It says need love. Um, need love by Mary J. Blige is playing in my ear. And I just heard her say, but I'm going to take my time. No rush. So I feel like, yeah, we could, we could take our time. As I was saying that, that's when she said it. So I feel like they want to take their time with you. They don't want to rush things. They want to, you know, experience this love wholly and fully because they know this is true love. They don't want to fuck it up trust and retreat so i feel like maybe you and this person are gonna you know maybe you're gonna get away maybe you're gonna go on some type of retreat i feel like you can trust everything they tell you or trust this this separation right now retreat trust this time away time apart 
Spirit, what other messages do we have? And she's still saying stay. She's still saying stay. So stay just went off and she's saying stay right now. So yeah, we got deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. So they weren't showing their true colors. And we saw that. We saw that. You came closer than anyone. I'm not available. They were really on and off. Back and forth. You know. Do, 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 playing on your top, basically. So, yeah. It says deception. Romantic feelings. They were deceiving you about their romantic feelings. They were really so in love. And they wanted everything and, and anything to be with you. But it's like they were showing up like a fucking player. Okay? Look at this. They were showing up like a player. Showing up like a player, acting like they, you know, was really, you know, at whole time, they like this. They're like, oh my God, I love you so much, Aquarius. Oh my God, Aquarius. Your feelings are really worth exploring. So I feel like they now they want to come back around and explore those same feelings that you felt for them before. And I, I don't think it's there, Aquarius. I'm not, I'm not even, I, I'm going to be honest. I don't think it's there. I don't think it's there anymore. I think you've moved on from this. Because the way this person treated you was disgusting, if I if I do say so myself, okay? It says someone feels remorse for the way they treated you, so they know they were disgusting. Spirit, what other messages do we have for the Aquarius regarding this situation? Regarding love with the Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I, they want to come back, though, Aquarius, or they're going to. It says stay optimistic about your love life. So, yeah, I feel like stay optimistic. Positive thinking will bring you uh, romance. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And it says very soon. So, like I said, as I was saying, they're wanting to come back around. They're wanting to reconnect. But I feel like they're going to they're gonna eventually tell you, like, you and I were too young. I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson. I left you before you could leave me. It, it's making sense. The timing just wasn't right for us. Yeah, we saw that. We saw that. The timing just wasn't right. Just being near you is intoxicating. They're wanting to come back for an apology. It says, I hope that you can forgive me one day. And up under that, it says, I don't react when people mention you. So they're trying to forget you. They're trying to push it in the back of their mind. But it's hard. It's hard for them to let you go. I feel like very soon they're going to come back with an apology or with some type of offer. <laughs> I don't know, Aquarius. I don't think it's there. But I mean, if I'm wrong, tell me. But I don't think it's there for you anymore. I think you've moved on. My throat is itching. It says you deserve love. And it says give your relationship a chance. So like I said, I feel like you've moved on. I feel like you've let this go. Um, because this person made you feel like you did not deserve their love. It was like, okay, okay, maybe. Maybe I don't supposed to, you know. What is this? Shit crazy by Trouble and YFN Lucci. So, yeah, shit crazy. Shit crazy. Let me know on timestamp. This could be your twin flame. But I feel like you deserve love, Aquarius. And it says give your relationship a chance. Message. I just got a message. So, message. Give your relationship a chance. It says work on your partnership. Express your love. I feel like, Aquarius, maybe you weren't as open with this person as you thought you were. I feel like you were just giving them just, a look, just enough to, you know... Let them know that you were into them, that you liked them, that you loved them. I feel like you were given just enough. And this person, too, was giving just enough. Because it, you two both need to heal. It says the timing just isn't right. Wait. You both need to heal. In order to really, you know, have this passionate connection that you two are supposed to have. This past life love that you were supposed to reconnect. You were supposed to reconnect on earth. In order to have this, you have to heal. Period. Both of you. It says express your love. Go ahead and tell this person how you truly feel, Aquarius. If this person, if you feel like this person fucked you over, and if you see them in the church, you're going to tell them, get your dog ass up out this church type shit. You need to tell them that. You need to release that. Okay? Get that off your chest. Get your dog ass up out this church. Look, separation. So, yeah, you're in separation right now. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. But at the bottom of the deck, it is wedding. I feel like you two are, this separation is really, you know, this rejection is 
protection. I feel like you're supposed to be separated. You're supposed to be spending time apart in order to heal. This situation involves marriage. So you could already be married with this person to this person and you're in separation right now. Or this person is married, maybe. I don't know. Or you're married and it's, you know, it's the timing just isn't right. <laughs> Or maybe somebody talks about marriage or getting married or wanting to, you know, be married. We have codependency under that and we have very soon. I feel like somebody, you know, talks about wanting to be married and wanting to be with you. But it was only because they were codependent on this connection, codependent on this energy. It says very soon. So you're going to find out about this very soon or maybe very soon you're going to free yourself. But then we also got make the effort. So, yeah, and retreat. And she's in her wedding dress. Okay, so, I don't know, Aquarius. That's what's going on with you and the Taurus. Or the Virgo. Or the Capricorn. Okay? <laughs> I don't know why I just started talking like that. Anyway, Aquarius, I love y'all so much. Thanks for watching. Don't forget. Okay. They told me, back it up. Back it up. They said, get some I'm afraid to tell you. Oh. Okay, let me hold on. Spirit said, wait a damn minute. They got some more shit to say. Spirit said, these earth signs was not done. So, okay, yeah, they're not done. I feel like they cut you off in the middle of your conversation. And they come back around when you least expect it. Maybe you done, you know, you are you could be not even thinking about this person. And they just pop, pop back up. Oh, wait, and another thing. You know? <laughs> Spirit, what is the earth sign afraid? Okay, hold on now. What is the earth sign afraid to tell the Aquarius? I know I fucked up. You already said that. You already said that, earth sign. You own their minds. Of course, we know. It says this is some bullshit. This is some bullshit, Aquarius. I feel like this separation to them is some bullshit. It says I don't like them. So I don't know who you think they like or whatever the fuck. But they don't like them. They're done. They hate it there. Okay? Look, call me please at the bottom of the deck. So they want you to call them. They want you to reach out. We did see make the effort. So... And it says, stop calling me. So, I feel like maybe this is your person calling you. But it says, they're for, okay. Okay, that's what's going on. They're telling this person to stop. I don't like them. Stop calling me. Like, you fucking up what I'm trying to what I'm trying to do with the aqua. You fucking up what I got going on. They, they, like, stop calling me. Please. Because I want the aqua to come over. Can you come over? Mm. Or maybe this is what they told you, like, stop calling me. I feel like this is like some real in and out energy, like I said, back and forth. They say hurtful shit because they don't want to. They're scared. They're scared of love. They're scared to be in love. They're scared of this connection. They're just scared. This car just went flying and spinning. I think of you when I'm with them. So, yeah, maybe this is, I don't know, Aquarius. This is a lot. It says, I regret not telling you at the bottom of the deck. So, yeah, I just feel like this person told you to stop calling them because they wanted to push you away there you are in this separation maybe this is the hurtful things they say okay just stop calling me and you stop calling now they get to my call me please oh you tell me to stop calling what the fuck am i calling for what the fuck so now they thinking of you why they with that person why they with somebody else trying to forget you trying to forget you but they can't okay i'm gonna leave it there that's it. I am. I am. Okay. I love you guys so much, Aquarius. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, honey. And click the notification bell. Okay, she just said, fuck all these niggas. Who is this? Kilani? Yep. Niggas. Niggas gonna always be niggas. Okay, period. And I'm gonna get on up out of here, Aquarius. I love y'all. Peace, love, and light. Peace out.